Welcome everyone. I am here to do a review on one of my newest toys. It is a Tracker Topper 12W. The W stands for wide. It is a little bit wider than the previous model. It's 12 foot long. Uh, it looks like it's approximately three feet wide, three and a half, four, maybe. I'm gonna have to do some uh, measurements on there. It has been pre-registered and it is still registered for the year 2021. It's got a two horsepower Suzuki outboard. Fires up every single time. Just flip it around and fire it up. I just bought a battery for it. I haven't installed the battery yet. Two fold down chairs. A swivel. Comes with two oars. And even the locks for the oar holes. Just in case your motors go down. Got a tie rope. It's got an anchor, one of the fancy ones that retract out. But the thing that's really impressive with it is the trailer. The trailer is brand new. The winch right there. Very good construction of very good construction of the trailer and it is adjustable as you can see right there it is an adjustable type back tie down and got some turbo power some Minn Kota turbo track power and go to turbo 24 pound thrust 12 volt quiet power that catches fish. All right. And what we have here is a Lawrence Elite 3 by And the trailer consists of the running lights and turn signals and also for those dark um, boat dock times we've got a couple lights on top so we're gonna go out and take this for a little spin Now let's take it out on the water and try it out. Buckle up for safety. This is where we would show the boat going down the road and the crazy antics that happened at the boat dock. But our camera failed and we weren't able to pick up that video. Aw, oh, shucks. Oh, and I married this guy. It's... So I'm going to go ahead and do a simulated version for you. Did you see the size of that chicken? I think you might have to have been there to understand this. So let's go to the water. Keep it 
softly spoken with no strings. This boat handled well in the water. It's a flat bottom and doesn't steer as good as a V bottom in my opinion. We did have issues of it drifting into the shores. The equipment was all good. Fish locator shows color, the water temperature, the surface water temperature. The trolling motor is strong and durable and we found that out being blown into the banks. Um, it seems pretty sturdy like it won't tip over very easy. Now this is a fishable boat. It's also a very comfortable boat to fish from. And if this can handle an old fat guy like myself and his wife with all this equipment, then it's a pretty good boat. I would recommend it to you. Hello, Josh here. And I'm Jolene. And this boat here holds us both with all of our stuff, a couple of motors, a bunch of fish. Um, it does pretty well, except for in the wind, it kind of blows us around, pushes us up at the bank. But overall, it's, it's a really good boat. That's what we need it to. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It is, there's a lot more room to it than I thought there would be. Um, it's a lot cooler out here on the, sun, on the water than I thought there would be. Than I thought it would be. Um, but if it's really windy, it does push you off into the rocks and into the banks. But other than that, I really like it. I love it. Very good purchase. Yay! Good job. Now, if you're going to use a flat bottom boat like this, I would recommend keeping it within coves and small water areas where there's not a lot of water movement and a lot of uh, current. Um, it does really good with, with bank fishing. Just uh, keep it away from big waters to where you can, where you can really get injured. Okay, don't do that. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Well, I hope this helps you in deciding into buying a boat. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Please like this video, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell icon in the corner to be notified for future postings. Thank you. I'm tired.